You will eventually get there. Look at the, oh, look at his deck. We should have, ah, oh, for double fent, boah, what the, f wow, what? I want this freaking deck. The double Phantom Assassin, Sniper, are you kidding me? Legion Commander, sure, Constructed. No, no, wait, this is better than Constructed because, yeah, in Constructed you could not play double Phantom Assassin. Sniper Enchantress. You're kidding me here. Wow. No accident doesn't make sense. This uh, disciple has to come down. Where should disciple come down? We can disciple come down here to trade against a minion. We don't want that. We want disciple on the left lane. Let's do. I think there's not much which can punish us. I think there's none which can punish us. Because we trade two damage against two damage, but disciple lives. And it's good that disciple lives. He probably doesn't play the chip damage because, because he already plays sniper. So let's do that. And yeah, uh, you get the point, right? So we are trading two damage against two damage. In the worst case, in the best case, we get 25% on killing Phantom Assassin immediately. Uh, keep in mind that we need to fasten up the game 100%. I just explained it very quickly. So we are staring down at uh, triple, triple seven mana, and we are also staring down at six, six mana coup de grasses. Yeah. So we need to accelerate the game as much as possible. Just uh, pumping everything out every time, every turn. Um, yeah, Miss of Avernus is probably the best utilization on the left. It's probably the best utilization on the left. This is not great that this hits the tower, but that was all right, and this is also kind of all right. So Miss of Avernus probably belongs left lane. You also don't have that many plays, so I like, I like Miss of Avernus left. So let's do that. Um, keep also in mind that he might play a random smash that defenses, I don't like random smash the defenses. As such, it's also much more powerful to play this here. If you would have had this, uh, if you would have that random smash the defenses, this is the card which kills your improvements. Well, that would be inherently a bad result. That's a very bad play from him. Like sacrificing the Bros Legioner like this. Wow. I mean, just like here, take him, take him. He's worth nothing, guys. He's worth nothing to me. Um, yeah, we should keep the no accident. Three gold is nice unless we cut it. Uh, no, we get more gold because of the hero gank. Never mind. Um, if he would have not ganked the hero, we should have definitely killed it so that we go to three gold because three gold is kind of a threshold, right? We explained the threshold many times. Um, yeah, we cannot buy this. Yeah, the card is nice. The protection is nicer. <laughs> um, and we can also get a sword. Oh, man, nine. Mm, okay. So since we are very eager to receive more attack buffs, we should probably play her left. It's not written in stone because obviously left she is only trade only trading against the Phantom Assassin. Um, but I have to tell you that in the middle she is also only trading against a Legionnaire, most likely, right? So it's um, on the left lane. This is at least receiving one buff. Probably it's better to play Debbie in the mid. But what happens if he kills this? That's fine. If this goes left though, now then it also doesn't make any kind of difference. So Debbie middle is probably better. Um, yeah, now you could argue, and then we might have put Mist of Avernus in the middle. Five seconds um, Three, uh, two, we should just push left. One. Everything left. Yeah, always left now. Just push everything left, and we see what happens. Mist of Avernus is strong enough to justify how we play it, because Mist of Avernus is just like look, just look at this. Mist of uh, wait, uh, suck, suck. Mist of Avernus! Um, also unfortunate that no creep spawned there. That's like super bad for us, unfortunately. But what can we do? So this dies, but we can protect this, but we cannot protect it from hip fire. Yeah. What can we do else? No accident on sniper, but then he might have an item. I think we can also still do that next turn, playing something else now. Um, we could give the cloak, we should probably give the cloak. I mean that at least leaves him in uh, Leave nothing but yeah, again, playing around smash the defenses. I believe that play is better. I won't be denied. And this will die. Um, oh, the, the item is out. Then we should... Oh, no. Uh, we just smash the defenses next turn. Um, we don't need to equip. I don't, I don't believe... I'm not a believer of chip damage. Uh-huh. That was worth it. I don't... I, I, uh, was that worth it? 
Probably not. Probably that wasn't worth it, but yeah. Uh, I mean, we, he he blocked our what rebel decoy play. Hmm. It depends on where the creep spawn, whether that play was worth it or not. So now we should always see what we want to play exactly, and then put the put the stuff out exactly regarding that. So we do have initiative, which is good. We definitely get the cloak, and we definitely should get the card. Yeah, let's take the card. So what I'm saying is, we want to play on the left lane. No accident on this guy. Correct. Yeah, because he will also shoot in one, so we should definitely do such a thing. But because we also probably want to play at least one green spell somewhere else, we should deploy the black there, where we definitely want to play no accident. Do we want to definitely play no accident? Well, it's not written in stone, but you get the point. And here, I mean, this should be inherently strong here, because this is killing one creep every turn, and that's just super strong. So I guess we played in this way. I guess it's good. Unless we draw something else we would like to play, obviously. Yeah? But he also received 15 gold, so he um, will be able to buy a lot of health items. And as such, I would definitely like to know accident this guy now. No heal item for you. I mean, on the other hand, he could also, of course, heal heal. But what I'm saying is we don't play the assault letters here, do we? Right? So, yeah, a must. That's <laughs> quite good for him. I mean, it's not insane, but it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, worth it. Cloak, stone or cloak on this guy has to be good, but then he can equip a sword, so maybe we should wait for that, but then he can quick shot. but he also already didn't have, I mean not quick shot, but grazing shot, but he didn't have that beforehand, so we might also not need to play around that. That being said, he will never equip a sword, which might just leave us to do this, because if he does have a sword, yeah, he can kill it, but it happens. Um, the magic, ooh, oh, 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 wow. Uh, yeah, let's is initiative important? Yeah, into six it might be important. Um, so, yeah, but we will probably play something else here anyway, so we might as well draw the card now. Um, yeah, there is kind of an inherent power difference level here. Um, hmm. If he doesn't have plays, that would be insane, because then we have plays in the other lanes and he doesn't, and that would be obviously insanely good for us. Um, yeah, for example, we play the cleric now here. Uh, we play the cleric now. Uh, burning oil. No, I think that's acceptable still. I mean, what I'm simply saying is we do have plays he doesn't in the other lanes. And in the left lane, we are just contesting with all heroes both, which is acceptable. So here, obviously, under rebellion is good, but probably cleric is obviously better. Don't need to explain that. Um, yeah, let's put him here. Fuck, selfish cleric, blocking the creeps, guys. That is so cool. Boom, creep, and blocking the creep and killing him and staying on the board himself. Oh yeah, okay, so we buy this for sure. And yeah, let's buy the healing. Uh, yeah, we, we might need the healing later. I don't think that we will need the two weapons. So let's play it in this way. I think it's needless to be said that we have to put both on the left lane. Because otherwise he just could the grasses now. He does have initiative. So we are not... Oh, he overcame it's the middle. This is so bad because um, he has this item which gives him infinite armor. And it's doing nothing in the middle. Yeah, so why would he do such a thing? And he's also... Oh, he also has duels. And these duels are going into nowhere. Now, okay, that's, that's good because then we, he cannot kill an improvement. So if he plays Coup de Grass on this guy, we just play uh, Oglodi or Tyler. In this case, it would be Oglodi, of course. You've suffered enough. Coup de Grass! <laughs> Six mana, very expensive, but it doesn't matter because we still have a hero in the lane to fight with. Oglodi is also not killing her though, so we might really consider, because this is killing Oglodi, we, um, and she only has six attack, we should definitely play the Tyler Estate Sensor, because then this doesn't kill uh, Tyler Estate Sensor, and Tyler Estate Sensor will also receive another Mist of Avernus Blessing. So that's inherently important, and we should also definitely play that now, because otherwise he can just press this button, which would not be obviously not in our interest. Yeah. We also have an uh, Oglodi as next turn blocker here, so that's kind of nice. Every, every minion receives two damage, which goes through, but every minion which goes through also deals a lot of tower damage. So I think that evens itself out. 
um, yeah, and on the right lane we can just do whatever we want, or how does it, uh, how does it work? <laughs> yeah, I mean, which is pretty cool, I mean, I don't mind. Uh, okay, so again, because he probably doesn't have chip damage, and uh, if he has damage, it's like 10 damage, because seven mana t deal 10 damage. He wants to do it from the middle, he wants to assassinate from the middle. We can already anticipate such a thing, but we don't need to give him a cloak whatsoever, why would we? So let's keep it like this. And we can probably give Chen the cloak so that this is not due to assassination because he wants to assassinate from the middle next turn. On the left lane he cannot do so because we do have the Tyler State Sensor and the Tyler State Sensor is still soaking the mana next turn, basically preventing an assassination from the left lane. But if he wants to assassinate from the mid, most certainly he wants to assassinate to the right. And then we just block him by giving this one cloak and uh, hence bring him below, be uh, above the assassination level, bring him to 11 life, but he can only deal 10 damage. That will block him a lot. Okay, so here, yeah, I'm also wondering what he does here because I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, these heroes are just staying there. No duel, no coup de grace. Not, not really effective, yeah. And oh, unsupervised artillery, yeah, but we are also fighting for the lane in a very heavy way. So I, don't, I doubt that this will do much. And here we have the Chen, and do you know what? Yes, we cloak him. So this was something we already talked about. And we can play. I mean, we do have different plays here, obviously. Mm, yeah, Savage Wolf is insane because 3-3 three, three is ideally committing 2-2. Two, two. There's nothing better. There would only be, if this would be 2-3, then it would be better. But yeah, it does make sense. And keep also in mind that next time we can play Rebel Decoy into Arm the Rebellion. And Arm the Rebellion now, I mean, it's protecting this, but it also is not really increasing the damage output. And the wolf is also growing himself. So this is crazily good. Just playing one minion every turn. And this is also very important because he will also be able to put a holy persuasion if not being contested next, the very next turn. Uh, so that's also great. I'm wondering about the sword because, yeah, but I, I think we shouldn't because we only have one gold and maybe we would like to deal the exact damage, um, the exact damage with the sword. So we should play it in this way. Yeah, let's do. Uh, now we got another sword. We also ought to buy that, but that was obviously not ideal. Don't need to tell you that. Now he can only he can only um, assassinate one of those. Uh, he can only coup de grace one of those, right? So question mark is okay, but this guy he can just my bad. I forgot that he. I mean okay, but then again, huh? That was weird. Okay, that was really bad from my side. Doesn't matter now. Okay, so. This goes here for sure. I mean, he, he will always put that on the left lane, never on the right lane, right? So we should just do it in this way. Yeah, so that we can kill this tower now, and this can control this, and we can also play Rebel Decoy under Rebellion, push like tr tremendous amounts of damage there. Um, just so that we can kind of make sure that the left lane will fall. Um, that would be important. Oh, Steam can, lol. Okay, that's also very good cannot use this, we can now play the steam can, wow. I mean, the steam can is, is better than the soldiers and, and Oglody, has to be, it's so strong. I mean, is it so strong? Yeah, it probably is strong. I don't know. I want to do it now. It is very good. Thank you. Now uh, that's fair, because the steam can can also and kill the red hero in the middle, but then he will also be able to do duels Hmm, interesting. And other play would have been Oglody, but we can also just Oglody next turn. I mean, in two turns, if this tower is at four or lower, we can just play Oglody. I probably want to deal damage on her. I don't want that he can get uh, the Legionnaire. I mean, if he kill the Legionnaire, he, she comes back in two. Um, we might not, yeah, that's, I don't want, um, it's not the ideal result. So we can do this because Team can kills this next turn. Uh, I also doubt that he has, uh, maybe he doesn't have heal potion. Um, maybe he does have a healing potion. <laughs> but uh, we can still kill this and he still needs to put something in between, which is also good. Keep also in mind that because of all the damage, we can now clearly kill the sniper. We can also do a lot on the assassin, but the tower died anyways. So that's also a good result. Now we will always be able to 
Um, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if there would be an assassination coming down on the wolf now. Um, so here uh, we now have this team can to shoot every every turn either the phantom assassin or we can also shoot um, or we can also shoot other stuff of course. Um, yeah, he gets the tower. We don't care. He's completely overcommitted in the middle. Um, yeah, that's that's a perfect result because they are doing exactly nothing. Uh, now even over over pounding the tower for no reason which is uh, extremely in our interest. So here, I think it's a no-brainer. We play decoy, I'll give my life for the and we take this creep, and we play under rebellion, and with this we maximize the damage. There's literally no reason to play the rose leaf. Um, we could have also uh, assault letters, but again, I think it's very important that the cannon is online this turn. So, yeah, so that's that. Um, 10 more damage, and now he's suddenly, ooh, wow, ooh. Yeah, sword, uh, do we need this sword here on the left lane? Well, probably not so much. I mean, if this lane falls, it's down, so. Yeah, so let's do this. Yeah, Laika needs to go left, of course, that's clear. Uh, yeah, card, uh, whatever. Um, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't matter, I think. So let's do Lycan because a uh, right lane will now fall. And <laughs> hey, these decks, guys, these decks, I mean, hey, do you know what we do with them? If we do have double Phantom Assassin, Sniper, uh, uh, double Phantom Assassin, Sniper, Enchantress, and Legion Commander. I mean, are you kidding me? Uh, so funny thing is if you cool the grasses immediately, we can shoot the Phantom Assassin. And if he assassinates, we can do the same, right? So he also had assassinates in his hand, apparently. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Yeah, that was really nice because, um, yeah, strong deck was <laughs> crazy. Really, really crazy, guys. No, seriously, let's, let's view his deck. So he knows with a triple sword and triple cloak. Very clever. Yeah, he... He knows, I mean, no, no, seriously. I mean, he knows how to be Many people are not even, um, having, ha haven't even catched up on that yet, but he definitely has, so that's very good. <laughs> he also uh, picked very strong heroes. This is definitely reasonable. I mean, bitter enemies is not that great, but um, yeah, okay. There are, there are some cards which are not exactly ideal, honestly. Um, but there is an Omex Arena. Omex Arena is insanely synergetic with du dual snipers and phantom coup de grasses. A deal with Sunrise pack, wow. <laughs> Even a Sunrise pack, but yeah, it's a good, it's a very good Ogre Conscript. Red Mist oh, or even Acceleration for that stuff. Wow, I mean, yeah, pretty good stuff.